Hello everyone, this is Bryant with SFFT Source, your premier guide to Six Flags Fiesta Texas. I hope everyone is staying safe, staying inside, washing their hands, only going out for essential needs. Of course, if you are an essential employee, thank you so much. If you're a healthcare worker or something related to that, also thank you as well. You guys are rock stars right now, and we kind of want to keep the content going. We've had these awesome opportunities over the last few seasons to go to American Coaster Enthusiast events at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, and one of the cool perks that they do during the Fright Fest events is give us behind-the-scenes tours of the haunted houses. So we actually have a few of those tours that we want to show you right now. I don't know about y'all, but Fright Fest is probably my favorite time to go to the theme parks, and this just gets me amped up and ready to go for the upcoming Fright Fest events. If y'all follow our channel pretty closely, you probably saw that we did a decade in review video for Six Flags Over Texas. Let me know in the comments below if you want one of those videos for Six Flags Fiesta Texas. We're kind of trying to compile all the information we can. It is particularly challenging, but it makes making those videos just that much more fun. I also want to know in the comments below, what is your favorite thing about Fright Fest at Fiesta Texas? I think for me, it's probably Monster Mash Bash. I don't really think anything comes close to that. Show is awesome, constantly evolving, and just a really fun time. I definitely cherish the live entertainment options that theme parks provide, and hopefully that keeps going. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell, it'll give you all of the up-to-date information about Six Flags Over Texas and Fiesta Texas. I also encourage you to check out our social media outlets in the description below because that is probably the quickest way you'll find out about any new updates for the parks. So sit back and relax and enjoy this look at behind the scenes tours of Fiesta Texas haunted houses. It's time for our Rock Kill High School Lights On Tour. This is a haunted house that they built in Rockville High School for Fright Fest. I think we're in the locker room. What do you think? Whoa. I bet somebody jumps out right there and goes ooga booga. This is a cool room. Probably. The coolest part really is the fact that we're in an actual theater and they just drop all the flies and electrics to make this happen. Still pretty spooky with no monsters. Like we're doing a little little band practice oh, there's someone in there. over here. Yeah, that's not actually so I'm not saying I 
Oh, well, that set of piece right there is all right. Uh-oh. Yes, these are new. This is the other one. This is a new set. That's awesome. Yeah, I can guarantee you someone's going to be at least one of those foot dolls. Yeah. Oh, my. No cure. You see? Yeah. It says no cure. Most guests would not notice that. I don't think I would. Of course, you really only oh, notice that with the lights on. Hey, look, eyeballs. Oh, we're in the library. Maybe. Yeah, you're like the scare actors, though. <laughs> oh, there's a. Oh, oh so. <laughs> Didn't work. Oh, bathroom. That's lovely. This is my island. Notice me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Hello there. <laughs> somebody lovely. had a. Lovely. Somebody had a situation. <laughs> oh. That's. Is that better or worse? Oh, that's that's good. Oh, okay, time to go. All right, that was lovely. I think they need to turn the lights back off. Oh, look, sound inputs. <laughs> we are in a theater after all. <clears throat> I like how they had to cut out the wall. It's awesome. You're gonna love this right up the head. Yeah, that's the kind of a zombie attack. I just love all these subtle details. Step one, avoidance. Step two, termination. Step three, disposal. <laughs> yeah, I noticed there's one right. Here. You see that? Yeah. Oh, and it's it's tripping. None of this we really notice. Without things like without the lights on and stuff. I think Go through the stores. Oh. Here's the entrance to Midnight Museum of the Macabre once you kind of actually get out of the main queue and go into the back area. So you can see lots of theming back here. And then there's your main entrance right there. Creepy doll. It's a little dark in here, but you guys can see the crazy detail on all of the um, shelving and stuff. If you guys come in here when the house is open, make sure you really look around because you're going to see something new each time you come through, for sure. This is creepy. Look, it's the waxy. Mm, creepy baby. Oh, somebody's going to pop up. Yeah, when I asked where, where they got all this cool stuff, they actually said they went to various different Goodwills to get everything. <laughs> so that's where I don't know if you guys just heard the guy said they went to various Goodwills to get a lot of the pieces that you see in here, which is genius, really. It's so creepy because this looks like it could open its eyes at any minute. 
These heads are really creepy. <laughs> Creepy head, half head. I bet you know what comes out of this hole when it's dark. Got a thing full of potions, oils. They really theme this thing all the way to the top of the walls though. So. There's your entrance into the next room. Some lovely body parts here. Some teeth, fingers. Yummy. So this is a fun room with the ball. When you guys come through here, make sure you pay close attention to what happens in this room. Nothing creepy about this. And um, not to spoil it for you guys, but they're gonna they're gonna make you look at that, and then <laughs> they're gonna come out that way. So. One of those really cool kind of offset scares for you, misdirection. See, they've kind of encapsulated encapsulated the top here for you. Got some fun skeleton situations in here. Shrunken head business. You gotta have the shrunken heads, you know? Bloody globe. And of course, if you're not careful, this this will get you, and then you're gonna be like, what the heck? What the heck was that? And uh, as you can see, probably a good place for a scare actor to live. It's getting a little more jungly in here, as you can see. Just crazy detail. Got your Venus fly traps. I don't even remember this hallway in the dark. There's so much stuff going on. But this is really cool. Wow. Got some bugs. Got a creepy Venus flytrap duo up there. Got a gravity-defying animal skeleton. A case with some snake skeletons. Creepy, creepy, <laughs> creepy all the way down. And boom. That's crazy detail in here. Creepy alien mummy thing. Yeah, that's oh, the picture so right. I was wondering how they did. Oh my, that is the scariest mermaid of all time. I'm scared of mermaids. That mermaid is yeah. a mermaid. Yeah. So now we're coming into our next section. As you can see, we have a themed poster. It's very detailed in here as well. And as you can see, there is a floor that shifts in here. So as you walk across it, you actually go back and forth on it. So fun little effect to kind of trip you up. And just another look at some more of the awesome theming. You can see really no corner was spared in this house. Nice little spot for a scare actor. A couple good spots. Very, very cool. It's a wall of belts. And then, of course, everyone's favorite, the I'm gonna beat you in the face cloths hanging from the ceiling. And coming around this corner. Still kind of got the same theme going. Very bloody, but very awesome. Got some stuff up on the top too, of course. And we're at the end.
And uh, just so you guys know, when you leave the haunted house, you are directly into a scare zone. So you come right into Wicked Hollow. So get ready.